Good morning, hello there. Uh, my name is Ian Oswald. I'm assuming you're looking at my blog, ianoswald.com, um, and the topmost entry is the Applied Parallel Computing Tutorial Notes, and this is because you're coming to my tutorial uh, with Minesh B. Amin and myself next week at PyCon US. I'm also assuming that you have downloaded this torrent file, uh, this v1.2 PyCon 2013 Applied Parallel Computing zip file. It's about 2 gig and it decompresses to about 7 gig. And then you can run the MD5 sum command, uh, the command line to confirm that you get the exact same MD5 sum. Um, so let's uh, show you what you get. Having downloaded and unzipped, you'll have a directory looking like this. Uh, this VirtualBox image contains everything you need, all the pre-installed software for, using, uh, for use during our tutorial. So inside the uh, the open source virtual box, I'm using machine add. Um, let's see, I go to the second drive, PyCon 2013, and then I'm going to double click on the VBox file, PyCon 2013.vbox. I double click this, and then we now have a powered off virtual box. Uh, I'll look at the settings uh, just so you know what's in there. Um, there are things like sharing the clipboard that you can enable. Um, what else do we have? It's configured to have 3 gig of RAM, uh, which is enough, and two CPUs. You can add more CPUs if you've got them. I've got four physical CPUs in this machine, so I could use four here. Um, so you could add more if you wanted. Uh, you don't have to worry about the display settings or the storage settings uh, or anything else in there. So uh, you don't have to change anything, but if you want to increase the RAM or the, uh, the number of CPUs you've got, you can. Um, we'll now start. This will take a moment to boot up. Uh, so now it's booting the VirtualBox image just as if it was booting uh, the Linux installation on a fresh laptop. Um, shortly it will boot all the way through to, uh, to being logged in. Um, first thing to note is that the admin password uh, is PyCon. So the user is password is, is a PyCon. Uh, the user is PyCon and the admin password is PyCon, all lowercase. If you walk away and come back and the screenscaver is activated, you'll have to type in PyCon and PyCon. Uh, you should also look at the README, uh, and uh, this just gives you a link back to my um, my blog post and. Uh, you want to double click on download git repo. This will go to GitHub and pull down any updates that we've made since we uh, finished the VirtualBox. We published the VirtualBox last week. I don't think we've made any improvements. We might do by the time we get to PyCon. Um, it will be sensible for you to double click this script. Uh, so that's uh, this download git repo so that it uh, updates any um, extra uh, stuff that's required. Um, in fact, no, that it's uh, it's definitely worth you running this. Uh, let's not make it optional. Uh, it's definitely worth you double-clicking download git repo once you get the image. Um, and then here there's a, a link which opens up Firefox uh, here on the local machine if it would be worth um, uh, if you wanted to see my blog post, but it's not really necessary. Um, I'm going to open up a second terminal. Uh, bit fiddly. It's a bit fiddly here because I've got uh, a very small desktop for recording. Um, we ls in here, we cd into PyCon 2013, um, and then you can see here there's this one script. Run this to confirm you have the correct libraries. So if I do this, hit return, then it runs a little Python script that just checks that we have at least two CPUs configured. Um, and it checks uh, a whole pile of libraries. Those are the libraries that are installed by this script. So you can expect that if this passes, then you're ready to run the tutorial. Um, if you're not running the VirtualBox and you're looking at this video and you're planning on downloading from GitHub and installing on your own machine, be aware that this script will tell you if everything appears to be present, but it won't tell you if you've configured Disco correctly. Um, nor will it guarantee that everything is set up. That's why we provided this virtual box. It guarantees that everything is set up as required. So we really, really, really strongly suggest that you use this virtual box rather than try to set up your own repo. Okay, the uh, sorry, uh, try to install from your from uh, the repo we provide. Uh, so 
we finished download git repo um, we run uh, run this to confirm that you have the correct libraries.py everything looks clean and uh, fantastic so i'm going to quit out of uh, this virtual box um, this will close down and then we go back here um, I should have showed you when we were booted in, in fact, let me just show you that quickly you have the option if you want uh, and this is entirely optional uh, you have the option of installing the uh, extension pack um, we get to that and the devices menu once uh, we've logged in so under devices install guest additions um, if we do that uh, then it will head off uh, and download um, some updated software editions uh, you click run um, oh, and the password is PyCon of course um, and then uh, uh, yes um, this is optional this lets your uh, guest machine that's this machine here see the host machine which is on the desktop um, so uh, it's quite handy to install this um, if you want to share files back to your desktop um, or configure your network to work in a, a different, uh, more unusual way. It takes a couple of minutes to rebuild and then you should reboot afterwards. Um, if you've used Linux before you might recognize the update icon down here. Don't bother updating all of the uh, devices unless you intend to keep using this disk image. We updated it when we installed it so it's only a couple of weeks old anyway. Um, and it's fine for this tutorial. Okay, I'm going to leave it uh, installing these guest editions in the background because that takes a while and I'm going to finish the tutorial here. So please come back to uh, this blog post. Um, that's the uh, Applied Parallel Computing PyCon tutorial notes on ianoswold.com and check this before you come to the tutorial uh, just to make sure that uh, anything that needs to be installed uh, is there. Um, I'll update this post um, in the run-up to uh, flying out to the tutorial in a week's time. Okay, uh, I look forward to seeing you all in uh, the tutorial at PyCon.